<laughs> okay, everybody, welcome back to The Shift. Uh, this week's guest has been on before, like years ago, Garrett yeah. Reynolds. Every time I see your uh, Instagram, I always see Reynolds first. Yeah. And I always go, wait, have I been calling him a Garrett? And then I'm like, oh, read the second part. Well, a guy in Wales beat me to Gareth Reynolds on Twitter. Bastard. And this is the ripple effect. Yeah, of, well, it's just confusing it's Katie's. Not, it's not great. <laughs> oh, it's fine. At least you, you know. At least, I'm, yeah, it's not like the Gareth comedian. Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. able to have some semblance. Mine is Katie Boyle comic, and yeah. the amount of people who write, who will have been following me for a while will go, oh, my God, this whole time I thought it was Katie Boyle le comic, and they think it's like wow. that I'm like also part French or something. Well, you sound very French. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, la, Who's la. the Katie Boyle who, who got you? There was so many Katie Boyles. Who's I mean, the one who has Katie Boyle? I should look it up. I'm not sure. I should look it up. Reach out. Threaten. And be like, bitch, excuse me. Let's go. See, I the Gareth Reynolds on Twitter, we ended up becoming like, we ended up like chatting. Like we'd just be like, like he'd be like, like, because he would tag, a lot of people would tag him and stuff and he just started redirecting things my way. <laughs> but it became a very like nice relationship, a healthy you know, not to say that all Gareth Reynolds are nice and healthy, but we were both like we're very open and friendly with yeah, each other. Yeah, that is nice. I mean, he, he is he famous or is he? No. I mean, if I, he was really nice, he could have given I'm you the winning. handle. I'm winning. I know. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I was kind of for a while what I was angling for, but I could tell he was like, yeah, it sucks. I was like, yeah. <sighs> damn, he's is he it. where? Where is he based? You said Wales. Oh, Wales. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. I mean, um, well, you know. it's a lot of rugby stuff. It's, it's like yeah. <laughs> Not sure, you know. Again, if you, had, I'm, I'm biased, <laughs> but it's not like a Gareth Reynolds to threaten another Gareth Reynolds. It's just See, not what we do. Yeah, but maybe it's a Reynolds Garrett thing to do. Well, man, I've turned. <laughs> I, I will take power. <laughs> yeah. I will show him. I think I, I, you know, and you have the whole. You're obviously part English. Yes. You are first generation American. Yes. So your parents are both English. Yes. Oh, I'm just going to keep saying it in different ways. I've been lying for the last two questions. No. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, you could, you and him could have a England versus Wales. Yeah, we could. I mean, I, I guess it could be like I, I've turned, like when I threaten him, at, you know, like with some sort of object. And, and he's like, but you're a Gareth Reynolds. And I'm like, I'm a Reynolds Gareth. And it's like, oh, I have no. British in my brain. Ah, in my veins. Yeah, right. In my brains. I have Britain flowing through my brains. <laughs> I have British brains. <laughs> the blood of England flows through my brains. <laughs> um, for any listeners, you already know him from the dollop. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like when you guys went to Ireland, you had like a massive. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when we went through Europe and the UK, it was great. Yeah, yeah, it's a great podcast. Yeah, well, oh, I thought you were going to say it's a great region. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it is the greatest. It's, it's You're great. right. Well, I mean, I would say Ireland's better than the UK, but uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I would agree too. A good. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good British man. But I have to stop <laughs> shitting. I shouldn't on say Eng the UK. Also, I'm joking. No, it's England. Because then you're, I'm going to have people who are also from the UK or not part it's, of England. It's very confusing. The whole I've thing. created a nightmare for myself in that. In my special, I shit on the English tremendously. Um, when I podcast, I openly shit on the... I mean, I started doing um, print, fake Prince Harry videos uh, where I pretend to do excerpts from his book. And I have just now gotten so much vitriol from, from the English people Aww. that it's like... <laughs> And I mean, I don't, you know, I'm very English, like in my roots and my family and yeah. stuff, but I'm, I sound American. So they really, they don't, they don't like it. And no, it's, I, it's going poorly. Uh, well, well, I will say, I think when the people who are angry, that's the voice that comes quicker. Yeah. And I think maybe there's like certain British people, because I know I got like really attacked on Instagram. Yeah. I got so attacked, but I also grew 8,000 followers from it. Yeah. So when I was feeling attacked, I was like. I don't mind this because you guys are really pushing this video. That's good. Because they're getting that's so validating. Mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a lot of that. I mean, there's like, I mean, again, it's like you focus on the negative, but it's like my buddy <laughs> was scrolling through comments and he's like, "They hate you," and I was like, "Well, I'm like actively trying to avoid this straw poll, but okay." Yeah. So I also think that it's a, probably a bit sensitive now with everything that's going on. Yeah. Because it's like r extreme royalists or the royal extreme... family stuff is just 
really divided. Yes. Ever. And it's stupid. And people are defensive. It's like, yeah. it's like you know, when you're like, you're in an uh, argument with your partner and you know you're a little wrong, but you don't know why. And then you get defensive. And it's like, you're getting so defensive. Cause this my- is so revealing. Yeah, I'm right. You know, when you're arguing with your partner over dish, you're being like very <laughs> like. Yes, I should have done the dishes. But, but, I'm, I'm like, but I don't want to admit it. Yeah. And you should do them now because you love me. That's how I feel royalist. <laughs> yeah, I totally. They will not do the dishes and they want to know when they'll be done and they don't want you to be angry Yeah, about and it. they don't want certain dishes in their sink. No, that's very true. <laughs> They're getting very elitist about their dishes. And most of the dishes are from a lot of those places where they refuse to have dishes from. Yeah, oh, you want your fancy china? Yeah. Well, you don't want, well, yeah. that's very... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very selective how that works, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny because the thing that I posted that I didn't even think was like a joke, yeah. it was just like a sentence, but I thought it was kind of fun. So I was like, I'll post it. And I said about how when... Oh, I, I'm going to butcher it now, but how my grandfather, um, or how, you know, there's the whole Irish-English thing, but I do think for my generation, we just do it as a joke now. You know, it's like a yeah. funny little... Ah. You have every right to not do it as a joke, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, truly, as an English person, it's like, yeah, please. It's well, you okay. know, for me personally, who I grew up in the South, yeah, right. um, it didn't affect me, Yeah. so I get it. But, like, there is definitely stuff, like, with my grandfather or, like, you know, even stuff that I would hear, like, the other generation talk about that they would have experienced, let's yeah. say, when they went to England or... Um, but I just said that, oh, you know, my grandfather will malfunction sometimes and he'll be like, the Brits, they have a lot to answer for. And, you know, and it was something about how he could have been making a cup of tea, could have been going for a walk. Right. But it wasn't even, a f- it was just like a sentence. And I was like, this is kind of fun. I'll just put this up. I haven't put any- anything up this week. It's not, It's never going to be a joke. I'll just throw it up. Yeah. I angered all of it. Yeah. <laughs> they doth protest too much. It's like, They relax. were like, well, you guys killed each other in the Civil War. And I'm like, like all buddy, right. Buddy, right. this is a joke. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm like, it's a joke. I mean, you should be but, more mad that I didn't finish the actual joke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right. I could have like like, un- kept going. And, like, yeah, right. <laughs> that That's like, I mean, it's also like, I'll like make fun of their teeth in England and they will be like, what's your deal? And I'm like, well, what what is your deal? The teeth are bad. Yeah, the braces. They're really bad. And now I, they're doing Turkish teeth. Turkish? Oh, they're going to Turkey. And yeah, but they if you, they get them like nubbed down and then they put in the fakies and then the fakies fall out. And then so they're left with like little like, you know, squirrel teeth or whatever. Yeah, I guess it's veneers. <laughs> yeah, but it's like they drop out. So then at the end of it, it's like you're left with like little stalactites and stalagmites in your mouth. Look, it's the age old thing of like, you know, pay for... The quality you want, especially when it comes to your teeth. Fair yeah. enough if you're getting Primark or Penny's clothes. Yeah, right. You won't be getting Primark or Penny's teeth. <laughs> well, that they do. They are. <laughs> I think, um, obviously, like, I never got braces either, but thankfully, Gap's made a comeback. Do you know, we had yeah. Mick Jagger's daughter, Madonna before that. Yeah. But, um, do but you have the Gap? Oh, yeah, but it's it's not a lot. I have the gap. Yeah. I have the gap. She's got the gap. <laughs> She's the one. <laughs> I yeah. am the dragon lady. Oh, my God. We were talking about Game of Thrones before this. They yeah. don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, well, now they do. Um, but, yeah, I yeah, the tea ain't great. In, um, but they're getting so much better in Ireland. Like, I've, all my brothers and sisters got braces automatically, and it was kind of, like, cool to have braces in your teen. I think yeah. it's just that it was. That's not, not happening in England. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just expensive as well because there's not a want for it. Well, then break up the royal family and throw some cash at the mouth. I know. <laughs> you got mouth money. Let's spend it. That's what I also, it's like their their heating costs are skyrocketing and still they're like, that dirty Megan. You're I like, know. break up this place. I know. Oh my God, I know. It just wow, came out of my throat. Was like, <laughs> I think that was like the devil inside me. Because like, ah, it wasn't even a burp. It was like a... Like a weird. And I would I said think like a crow. Normally, that the mic is not going to pick up <laughs> the <laughs> like vacuum sound of the gut, the <laughs> gut to lung. But that you know was, what it was fully it's audible. I'm, I'm bitching about the Brits while yeah. drinking tea. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're like, don't you don't get our tea? But you stole the tea in the first place, Britain. So. To be fair. You know, that yeah. was the one good thing you gave Irish. <laughs> well, and, in, and English, to be honest. I'd hate to have to learn English as a second language. Yeah, that's true. I'd Very. really. It is technically really sad that the Irish language was outlawed. Yeah, but, but for I'm you, not in, that in, I'm not a linguistic. Think about your clips. And my career, I'd be here like, on Will Catagum Dulgadi and Lettuce, and you'd be like, what the fuck is she saying? Well, I would just listen to the guttural noises and be like, she's hungry. <laughs> Hold on. She's trying, oh, are you going to go for it again? This is like, you can't recreate what just happened. I don't want to. That's why I stopped. Oh, that's, oh, I thought you were like, I thought you were like, let's run it back. 
God, no. You can be the, like, the I'm a lady. You can be the like heartburn comic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We could hear I you. am it. I drink uh Pepto Bismol. You drink there's better ways to solve the problem. Is there? Like Yeah. What? Like, yeah, this like Prilosec. I don't even know what that is. See, this is the thing. You, you just need spoke to, Irish to you me. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Prilosec. <laughs> you it's like uh it's like it, so you don't have to drink Pink milkshakes yeah. that taste like mint. You can have the Prilosec, which is like before it starts, it's coming at you. Yeah, I like the pink milkshake. Though. Well, this is the problem. You're addicted to this like, weird, like this. Oh, that's that's even crazier. It you do the drink? Like, no, no, I just do the. You do the pills? Yeah. For anyone Irish listening, it's like Gavisagan, which is very nice as well. I will say though, I I drank. I don't drink a lot, and I did drink recently, like so much. And I didn't mean What's to. What's so much? And how do you, how do you act? <laughs> <laughs> because, well, firstly, the bartender was from Donegal. And okay. so automatically when an Irish bartender knows an Irish person, yeah. they give too much in yeah, America. Right. And he was pouring my glass like it was at a wedding. You know, he just right. kept refilling it. So of I, what? Wine. Oh, yeah. So what co- no what color? color? Red. Yeah, this is, I, uh, I as a fellow heartburner, love red wine. So and it good. is really quite difficult. I find if it's a bottle that's been open a while, I get really bad heartburn. I That's don't have like hardcore. I haven't, I haven't gotten to that <laughs> level of research yet. That's and my stomach floats. But oh, anyway, wow. for the fresh bottle. But yeah, I puked my guts up the next day. Ugh. It was horrific. I haven't had an experience like that. And I tried to have Pepto Bismol, but then I just puked pink, which is kind of fun. Which is actually fun. Yeah, yeah. it made it a little. That's worth it. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the only time I drink Pepto is if I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to barf up pink. Yeah. So you don't drink a lot? No, not anymore. Mm. Never since comedy. Yeah, never since comedy. You're one of the f- yeah. That's yeah, I was the opposite because yeah. when I started, I had come here to be an artist, and it was like a disaster because right. the art world is elite and scary. I actually worked for a British woman. Who I'm was, sorry. I know. Enough. I know. We've been through enough. <laughs> it felt like the Irish yeah, British War yeah, again. Right, yeah. I felt like an indentured servant. Yeah, just taking w- your fries. Yeah, well, yeah, bitch. Yeah. Never gave me any fries. It was unpaid internship. It was like 50 hours a week. It was Jesus. very like, you're you're so lucky to get this. But she was a very angry person. Like she would, and I don't know if I've said this on the podcast before, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but she would kick the elevator to make it go faster, which is like, that's, you know, that's an inanimate <laughs> object. So <laughs> it doesn't work. It always makes me think of that, you know, in Bruges, when the British guy, who's that guy, Ralph Vines, is it? Yeah, Vines, yeah. And he's like smashing the phone and the yeah. wife is like, it's an inanimate object. Yeah. And he's like, you're a fucking inanimate object. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is crazy. I, I like the door close button, at least it lulls you into a s- fantastical sense that maybe you're having influence, but kicking is completely it's disconnected from reality. Yeah, she was very angry and very British. And then she brought, oh my God, she had a cat like yours. Uh, unlike I'm mine. To like her. Okay, yeah. She had a cat like Bout of Ours, Tuxedo Cat. Uh-huh. Uh, Jose Madra, my cat Madra, uh-huh. Irish for dog. Sure. Because so, I'm fun. Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> Most fun people have to point out that they're fun. <laughs> you tried to take our language, but I still use it partially. <laughs> Who <laughs> we must get Madra. Yeah, and everybody now, all the Americans think he's a girl because they think it's like Madre, yeah, like was, mother. That's what I thought. I know. Sorry. My poor cat is being misgendered all the time. Well, that's um, tough. Must do. Uh, yeah, I feel like when they get neutered earlier, they have a more feminine face. That's wild. I would never take note of that. <laughs> I'm still, I guess I misgender animals often. I'm still pretty confident. I'll go in with like, what's her name? You know, and people yeah. like, I mean... I guess it's better than like inspecting for a penis right away, which would be the only other yeah. way. But I do that too. Well, my cat Wilson, he got neutered like a year, and they're meant, you're meant to neuter like a couple of months. I didn't realize. Uh-huh. And then later, the more they develop into their big man head, so he has a big round head. Big so, man head. I'm telling you. And then I googled about it because Roger has a tiny little feminine face. And he's got a big head. The other guy has a big head, big muscular. I wonder if I'm able to in the in the podcast put a picture up of him. When I finish an editing. And if not, then I just did this weird thing so with that, my hands. Yeah, that's what, uh, <laughs> just for those of us who aren't in post, <laughs> this was you placing the picture in your magic hands. Okay. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> now they have to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's become a plot point. <laughs> but what was I saying about Matra? Oh, so she had a cat. She brought me one day. She had a cat. Uh, she didn't bring me. She asked I'm me. I'm also keeping cats. <laughs> she asked me to go pick him up, bring him to get his hair cut. Which is a groomer. Uh-huh. But it was a 15-minute walk from any train stop. So I had to, And he was the fattest cat ever. Like, this cat was, like, gluttonous king, you know. Right. He was, like, living off the people. 
Um, but we, I he, feel like we can't back that up, but okay. He's really big and doing well. Okay. And I'm like stealing bagels from work because I can't afford to eat because right. I'm trying to like make it in this internship. And I, I, yeah, anyway, I bring him and then he gets his hair cut away from him and I have her credit card. And it was a $200 haircut. That is $200 nuts. haircut. And you're not even, there's no, like, I guess that's her Did own Did you person. know that going in? That, no, it was only when I was signing for that's it. That's the worst. Doing, yeah, that's know, one of those ones where you're just like, why didn't I ask? You know, this cat is like oh. making more money than I was. I know, and didn't even want it. Yeah. That's because you're not even supposed to like, you don't really need to like groom cats too much. Not they're a tuxedo pretty, cat. Yeah, they're pretty much, they take That's care of insane. themselves. Yeah, $200 is absolute. Every time I get anything framed, I like end up getting like somehow swindled into something where at the end of it, I'm like 250. Like, I don't yeah. know what the process is, but I'm just like, put it in a frame for a man <laughs> who's incapable of being an adult. And then I'll come up and they're like 275 and you love, and I'm like, what? The fuck? And you love it. And yeah. I'm like, I know. That comes back to that American. Um, oh, I just, I literally just watched a TikTok of a girl saying like American customer service versus UK customer service. Mm. But that American where they're like smiling at you and they're talking to you and they're like, you're having a good day. You like this. You love, you know, and it's like all of a sudden you're like, here's all my money. It's very, it's I like don't three know. card Monty ish. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I come out like what just happened? Yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah. There is there is, like, I definitely think like in this country, yeah, you just pay. It's almost like the healthcare. It's like in this country, if you can afford it. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> better, but a lot of people don't have it yeah. and struggle and I feel like that's very similar with just like most things in like the UK. It's sort of like there is, there, overall everyone's doing a little bit better, even though it's starting to get In the UK? And, yeah. Yeah. And it's starting to get worse and worse. Here there's such disparity. Yeah, I will say with the UK, it is funny when we talked about the teeth thing, because no, most people, a lot of people have nice teeth here, but they can't afford it. And you could afford it in yeah, the UK. Yeah, I know. It doesn't really make sense. I never understand. I, I I remember the day, this was like 10 years ago, but when I was like counting laser tags versus uh, like t dentists. And I was like, well, there you go. Yeah, what's laser tags? Oh, I, like the game. Yeah, yeah, too? yeah. That was quite popular. <laughs> yeah. You're younger. <laughs> I'm old. No, I did play it as a kid. I yeah, did. me too. But kid, I just wanted kid. to make sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, we were young. We was just, they just invented the technology, Katie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They figured it out. I uh, I wanted to ask you because you're obviously very love your cat. Mm -hmm. He's a big part. I have a tattoo of, your... of my cat. Oh, nice! Yeah. There's Jose. What's the coming out of his forehead? Well, it's like his third eye's opening. So it's like if my cat was tripping. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. And you did loads of fun videos with him in the pandemic and stuff. Yeah. I was thinking, usually this podcast. Well, this podcast is a lot just the chats, but let's say sometimes try to circle it back to dating relationships sex education, sometimes, whatever. But with you, I looked up and read it and there was a uh, a woman asking for advice about her boyfriend wants her to move in, but not with her cat. That was unrelated to me. That's unrelated okay, to Okay, because I was like, on Reddit, you're looking at me and she's like, I need my boyfriend. So wait, the boyfriend... Oh, not... Oh, this was actually Cora. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up with my... But, oh, sorry. but anyway, uh, basically... Uh, <laughs> 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 now I have to put nothing in these because it's funnier. Yeah, now it's going to be like deranged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, she, she wanted advice whether or not to move in with her boyfriend who doesn't want her cat to move in with them. Um, and, you That's know, tough. it's do she give the cat to the parents or does she get rid of the boyfriend? What do you think? Wow, Jesus. That's, you're you're we're full just time laughing cat owner. And, um, we're just laughing. We're just, yeah, and then it's Talking just about like, the get it. Um, yeah, well, that's like what the Brits do. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very fair. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess in a way it's very, I don't know if there's an answer where you feel like you've made the, it's one of those ones where you probably have regrets either way. Part of me would say the boyfriend, you know, you would want the boyfriend to be like understanding, but people, I, when people are super allergic to cats or I remember when I didn't have a cat for a while, I was like obsessed with how clean everything was and not finding hair in my food and, and <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. Like I was pretty hooked on that. Um, but I also think like, you know, if someone, if it is like someone loves you and you start in your situation, it's almost like if someone is like a, like a stripper and then you're like, well, now you got to quit stripping. But it's like, you knew she had a yeah. cat. So you kind of accepted it as this. Um, 
I certainly you need if you are going to rehome it, you need to make sure that it's like a good environment and something. Your parents is a good one because if they do take care of it, you can still see it. Um, but you know, I mean, I also would be like, you're probably going to be happier as a person with the cat, and yeah. I know the adjustment is not that difficult. But so mm -hmm. I would say you should keep the cat. Yeah, I'm by on, a hair. I'm on keep the cat as well because I when I got my cat, first thing when I got my cat back home in Ireland, the only reason why I didn't bring him over here is because he is an indoor outdoor cat. And um Yeah, that's tough. They're like the size of the rats, he wouldn't have yeah. lived in an apartment. Yeah. So it made sense to put him on my parents' farm. But um and that's he's great. like happy out. So yeah. that's but I mean someone making you choose that my when my friends got me the cat, they had texted my boyfriend at the time being like, We wanna get Katie a cat for her birthday. Um, like, is that okay with you? And he just didn't respond to any of their messages because he was being like, uh, obviously no, but they got the cat anyway because they were like, fuck him if he's not even going to respond. It's an interesting tactic to totally ignore it. Yeah, though. right? It's rude. Well, it's, <laughs> I mean, you get, you know, you kind of, you fucked up. And, but they're like, he didn't technically say no. So then he was kind of pissed off for a while and he was like, it's me or the cat. And I was like. This is the current relationship? No, 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 no. no, no. He's great. No, oh, yeah, he yeah, always okay. wanted a cat. Right. And this is before, this is in Ireland. And right. he was like, it's me or the cat. And I was like, it's, we'd been together for three years. And I was like, it's going to be the cat. Like, I'm not getting rid of the cat. So then he was like, fine with it. But then the cat was very loyal to me because, um, and I have jokes about it and stuff in my comedy, but we, he, when he did push me uh, one time up against the wall, my cat was in there and he like, you know, did the <laughs> at him wow. and shot on his side of the bed. What? This is I know a great, this is like, uh, my cat would not, I would be shoved up against the wall. And he would kind of <laughs> be like, all right. Like I, I guarantee you there would be no, there would be total inaction. <laughs> yeah. It would be a food-based response. <laughs> like d directly shitting where the person is. It's like leaving the horse head in the bed. That's yeah, yeah. like very direct, clear. It's very smart. Yeah. Very like I smart feel like. Smart and also like emotionally adept to be like, oh, yeah. you heard her, you sleep in yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I was the one who ended up having to clean the shit, but I was still like, still. this is great. Still. But he's like... I don't like that you had to clean the shit, by the way. Oh, yeah. He was a bad boyfriend. Yeah. It's I, not, I mean, there's a lot... <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't love the fact that he pushed <laughs> up against the wall either. If I'm if I'm starting to give notes, that's yeah. also a problem for me. Yeah. I, when I broke up with him, my dad... We were coming from like my step-grandmother's funeral, and my dad was driving... Up, he was... He... We so I had an uncle who needed to fly back to America. Is my stepmother's brother-in-law. Okay. And my dad made up an excuse that so it was, it was the funerals in Cork, and he needed to go out by Dublin. And my dad said, "Oh, I need to go up and pick court files up," but he he didn't. He was just pretending that he needed to go up early so that he could give this man a lift without this man getting the bus and feeling like he uh, owed. Yeah, yeah. Anything? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a good. And when we were driving, we never went afterwards. We never went to the courthouse. And I went with him, and I was like, "You're not going to the courthouse." And he was like, "Oh no, I just said that, but don't tell like your stepmother because mm -hmm. um, I don't want her to think that you know." So it just shows like how much of a good person he is. Yeah. And he was like, "You know, these are things you do, and like your boyfriend, you, you live with him, and he didn't even come to the funeral. So like, you know, you should break up with him." And I was like, "Okay." And then he drove That's me. What the up. cat saying too? I know. The and cat was saying yeah, that. right. Yeah. So I felt I he had like the getaway car, and I went up while my boyfriend was sleeping, and I like got the cat because he was like quite. Uh, like he would jump yeah. to anger very quickly so it sounds like that might yeah. be a go to <laughs> yeah so I got the cat with the cat in the car got some stuff that I didn't want the broken the cat like wants to do one more shit like, yeah. hurry 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then I broke up when I'm in, in bed. I woke him up and I was like, um, you have a week to move out. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. That's a good support system, though. It is. It and is. And that's a good like lesson to be like, yeah, what you, I mean, when you get too deep in that shit. You know, yeah, yeah. Literally. When your cat is literally sitting. Yeah. When and, your cat is like, girl, yeah, yeah, you're done. And that cat is like still so loyal. Like when I would go back to uh, from America. I'll call him and he would meow up through the fields and, and come up to me. And still to this day, he's like, knows exactly who I am. Crazy. I'm, yeah. And every time I come home, I call him and he meows and comes up. Um, and he's like, really, like I said before the podcast, I was saying how. Yeah, he's meaty. Because. He's fed dog food. Yeah. There's a lot of details that were off there. <laughs> we should have really had like a free, well, I mean, <laughs> free recording. <laughs> Here we go. Listen. Because <laughs> um, Gary's cat is eight. And honestly, my cat is around 11 or 12, maybe. I mean, he could be even pushing 50. We don't know. It's funny. We've all lost all concept of time. My stepmom and my dad were like, we don't know how old this cat is. Sure. But he is like getting bigger and musclier. And like, Nuff. he's going to push you up against a wall one of these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your dad's going to have to shit in his side of the bed. <laughs> Gross. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it took a turn. <laughs> oh, what? I think that's fine. Yeah, no, what he was, of course. <laughs> I mean, fine for you. It's not your father yeah. shitting in your vest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I get to go home after this. Um, but, but yeah. So anyway, I would say choose the cat over the partner. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I, I like it's, it's extreme allergies, but if it's just. I don't like the cat. Fuck it, off. It's a bad indicator in the sense that it's like, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, I would imagine easier for you to adjust to a cat versus, and you want your partner to be happy. There's something about the nature of sacrifice, uh, you know, for the relationship that that's maybe a bad indicator. Yeah. When you have to give up anything. Yeah. And it should be the opposite. The sacrifice should be like, okay, I'm not like a big fan of cats, but... Let's I'll give figure it, a go. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's try give it. A go. Yeah, I, I, that's actually probably the best advice yeah. is just to like give it a shot. Obviously, if they've extreme allergies, yeah. but um, yeah. take Prilus or take. Uh, I'm all about pills. Claritin, <laughs> Pepto Bismol will help this. Snort a little Pepto. <laughs> That'll yeah. get rid of that uh, dander. And um, another thing I wanted to ask you, because okay, so you wrote your parents are British. Did you, did you spend a lot of time in England? Yeah. Up? Yep. So do you know like all the English slang? I think so. Yeah, pretty good. I I was looking up like dating slang because I wanted to see if it was like different from I- Irish versus because in Ireland I grew up with it was like the shift, which the listeners know, which means kiss. Yeah, and you guys didn't have that. No, nope. or America, and then smooch, which I already talked about, explained to TJ and Megan when they're on, which is kiss. But you guys had smooch. Yep. And then snogging. Snogging, you had yeah. yeah. Get Meet, off. Oh, get off. Yeah, you had that. We did not have that. Get off was the, the getting off. Get was off the is big just one. get off me physically. Get away <laughs> from me. <laughs> no, no. Get off was like to, kissing. Yeah, like, yeah, it would go off. Go off. Yeah, go, we go off. off with a. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, and then the other one we had, which was Dublin specific, even though I didn't grow up in Dublin, just outside Dublin, but it's definitely a Dublin one, is meat. Like, you'd be like, oh, I met him at the disco. Oh, no, I mean, maybe. Really? You had met? Met? Meat as in just like meeting? I met him. Yeah. No, like, it means a kiss. Oh, no, no, did not have that one. I was like, yes, people meet You're like, in England. Yes, sure. and in America. I, yeah, actually, you'll be surprised, Katie. A lot of people in America meet, too. <laughs> not so. No, there was, I remember, like, there was, uh, yeah, like, Shag was good. Um, shag. Oh, yeah, I have, the, I have the list here. They have, like, a Love Island one, but wait, let's see what, what okay. we got. Okay, so okay. Shag, we knew of Shag because of the shows, but we never said Shag. Not shag, we Margaret. said. We said Shag. We would um, say right, like I rode him. Oh, uh, well, I mean, sex. That I feel like, but would that be the position or would that would just be in general? Just in general. Yeah, no, that was not, we didn't have that one. <laughs> You're um, like, when they're on top, she's galloping on me. Yeah, <laughs> you, the bounce. She did the bounce. <laughs> um, the hop along, that's when, no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm trying to think of what other ones were like sex-based. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. That might be where I tap out. Yeah. How old were you when you were in England? Well, I mean, I was raised in America, but I mean, I went there my whole youth. Uh, yeah. You so know? you, the whole yeah. teenage, you would have had all this young sexual experiences there. Yeah, I definitely like. Yeah, it was earlier in England for sure. Did you find? Yes. Yeah, so did you find it was easier to get the smooch in England than in America? Yes. Yeah, I feel like in England, it Ireland, was advanced. We liked it. it was yeah. like it was like I, I don't know. It was like they were doing adult-ish things you know, three years ahead of the States. So you and come I, back all experienced. Yeah, I remember I came back from like six weeks and I'd, I'd slept with two women. Wow. And I would like my friends, none of my friends had gotten laid. And so they were all like, what? And I was like, yeah, like, I, and I was like, I, I kind of have a girlfriend there, you know, and they were like, buddy, this is, you know, <laughs> smoking cigarettes. I was just smoking oh, hash. I was young. I was like 15 and I was partying, <laughs> smoking you know? Hash. Yeah, I was loving hash. Sorry, they resin. They don't have, oh, it's resin now. Like, it was hash in Ireland, but they don't have hash here. I feel like everybody says they do smoke. have hash here. Oh, do they? Yeah, there's, I mean, it's, it's not many people smoke it, but, um, but we, yeah, they call it resin. And resin in the States was like what would be in your pipe, like the black thing that you would clean out and smoke when you were poor and you couldn't, or you couldn't find weed. That was what, but, so it was very confusing when I was there and they were like, we got resin. And I was like, well, that's kind of, do you want to try to get weed? But hash was resin and there was a lot of hash. Yeah, there was a lot. Yeah, so I was doing all that shit young, you know. Yeah. Lost my virginity young, was hooking up young, all that shit. Yeah. And it was all with. British, British girls. Yeah, yeah, it was, and it was great. I mean, I was like, "Fuck yeah. And they liked the American accent. Yeah, this was a time when it was, uh, you know, when there was they were. I think they were more enamored with the states than anywhere is now. You know, <laughs> but they were definitely like, especially where my family is from. There, it's small town. You know, it was like I remember when I was eleven years old. I went to my cousin's school for a day. 
and like they could not believe I was American. And I'm not kidding, by the end, I was signing autographs for people. <laughs> and it was like, probably in a way, like one of those things that like stuck with me where I was like, I want to experience the eyes on me and like be, you know what I mean? It Made was you like, be a comedian. Yeah, like to some <laughs> extent, like some sort of bastardized version of like that kind of cooked yeah. inside me. And, um, but yeah, it was like, it, there were certainly women who were directly attracted to the fact that I was American. And if you saw me, you'd be like the only reason they were attracted to me, probably, <laughs> you know? It is like a type of like, um, you like what you can't have or what's different or unique. Like, I remember when an American guy came to our school when we were like 13 and he was like everybody. And I did kiss him one time. Look at you. Um, but it was like, a, um, it was like so different to kissing Irish guys because it was like all tongue in, all sloppy, all wet. I don't like that he represents the nation because I feel <laughs> like that's not a fair version of what we were but all I've doing. But I've also had more of that in here? my years here than really? I ever had. What do you mean? They like, go in tongue hard? I've had here either tongue hard sloppy washing machine or like no tongue kind of goldfish with like just more experience of those than where in Ireland it's more like a bit of both a bit of you know yeah. and that and you know and I've I've kissed so many people in my life. There we go. So many. But I did, I, I, How each many time think? here, oh my God, like a million. I mean. Give me a, ground it. Give me a number. Let's say I did beat the slapper when I was younger, which would mean you'd have to kiss as many people as you could at the disco and I would get like 11 to 15. Oh, so you were That was like, like a couple. Uh, this was like. So I've kissed, I, I used to kiss every night I'd go out and kiss someone at the end of the night and oh, then see you later. Lord. So this yeah, is, I've you're writing so like a tell all of I'm like, a kiss whore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean I've also probably had a, few sexual partners as well. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I just gave <laughs> off. Someone complained about like my innocent vibe in a comment, which I just thought was so funny because, or in like an actual review on the podcast, which is like, bitch, you had to go all the way. It was not bitch, man, man, bitch. Um, and, and wrote like a one star and was like, it's a bit like you get a bit sick of her innocent vibe, but it's just funny because it's like, this is just who I am. Like yeah. I talk like this, but like how people are like the perception. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not. I've never. They, I literally have a sex dating podcast. I've never shamed away from talking about. I also like that. Like someone seeming. I mean, it's just like amazing. <laughs> you should be th more of a whore on yeah, this pod. Like, and you're like, I'm doing a lot. Trust <laughs> me. I kissed the eighteen thousand people. I kissed. I will kiss you, but yeah, I can't. Get, I'm in a relationship. I would kiss you. You should be allowed to podcast kiss. <laughs> that should be like a carve out you have. Um. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was yeah. So, but I think that's it was interesting though, because I I definitely like when kissing. I'm like I want to find it. I definitely it's not. I'm not like assuming yeah. we go one way. It's like you know, let it uh, advance. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't think you know the system early. Figure no. it out. And kissing is an indicator of how everything else. And it's yeah. uh, kissing is the best. I especially think for women, kissing is like the where you get all the passion, the intimacy, and yeah. it should be a bit of both. I've hated when I've had a date and it's just been like. Lip, 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 and I'm like, yeah, that's weird too. Trying to slip in the tongue. Yeah, that <laughs> that is very strange when you're sort of like, we doing the other part a little bit too. I yeah. remember someone being like, oh no, it's too soon for tongue, and I was like, the that's fuck? fucking weird. Oh my that's God. again, don't let that be a representation of this great, great nation of ours. Um, yeah, everybody I've dated here should not be a representation of America, but uh, but every you know people have dated in Ireland too because I've dated like I'll talk about dating crazy people sometimes on stage mm -hmm. and people will automatically be like I'll get off and they'll be like these fucking Americans and I'm like that was an Irish guy yeah. in America yeah. <laughs> he has been deported so you're fine uh, for that reason he probably yeah. he just pissed off too many women got the papers revoked yeah. Yeah. too but, sloppy uh, no he was a good kisser though he was he yeah. was just a little tapped no. I remember one time he well also I was tapped with him do you ever date someone and it's like really like passionate and toxic and you lose logic because yes. we were like saying I love you way too early on we did not know each other yeah. it was one of those eyes meet each other kind of across the bar and you think this is what love stories are wrote no this is what nightmares yeah wrote about. but he I remember when I broke up with him he turned up outside my house once and he was like and he was like I had some of his stuff because he had like gotten um kicked out of his house for not paying rent he got fired for taking money I'd broken up with him Cat was shitting on his stuff. Yeah, well, this is yeah, a different guy. No cat Still. at the time, but he would. He would. Yeah, yeah of course. I, li I like to think. Well, he actually, did. it's so funny that you say that because. Thank you. Uh, well, wait. Because, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the best episode <laughs> for me. Anyway, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> First, I'll just put up the review from the guy here. Yeah, or it's just <laughs> my star. side of the action. Like, well, that's weird. But. 
the he I said I'd mind his stuff because I did want to break up with him because he kept trying to borrow money off me and he was an alcoholic Jesus. and he was like he he was like well, a, he was very aggressive. I was probably like twenty five or twenty six, okay. okay. but he was yeah very aggr- like aggressive and not in like a just like in a like a, in a weird sex way because oh. I said I didn't like aggression in sex and he would always go afterwards after he would do it he would and you know okay he would do this thing and I've talked about it on the podcast before but I feel like for YouTube people they haven't seen this but he would punch my arse and I would say I don't punch like punch your ass yeah but there's some I would say I don't like that but there, and he would still what, do it what are, you, are you talking cheek or are like you talking cheek like punch like good to see you bum <laughs> you know yeah like he get he would like he had like serious issues and I think in sex it would come out and I think he felt like very uh you know, put down. He he struggled with growing up in sure. Ireland, um, and he had experienced a lot of like her- horrible shit, right. and he didn't know his father. There was a lot going on. He was an alcoholic, yeah. but I think then he he like took it out in sex That's, on me. But the ass punches. It's, I, but I'm, it's also like kind of people laugh a little bit because they're like it's yeah. so funny, well, but it's, it's very, like it's abuse. <laughs> it is. It is. But it is. And I think you're. I think everybody's right. It is total <laughs> abuse, but it's also like what kind of like. Get the, hit that ass. You know, and it was like, Rrr, and I'd be like, and he'd like pull my hair and stuff. And I know it's like, I don't like that. Yeah. But he would just say, oh, I just like lose control during sex. And Ooh. yeah, it was pretty bad. But that is, that's wild. So then I, but I minded his stuff for him. And I was like, at some point I said like, you need to get your stuff like by today. Because yeah. this is ridiculous. We're not together anymore. And I can't hoard it. And I was like, yeah, you, ha- you can come by like in the morning before work. But I meant like 9 a.m. And he uh, he turns up at like 6 a.m. and sure. he's been there and he's like texting. I wake up at like 8 and I see it. I go down and he's like, you'll never guess where I, I had to sleep on the street today. I had to sleep on the, on the, because, you know, anyway, um, he had bird shit on his shoes. What? And I remember looking at his shoes and seeing the bird Fresh? shit. Yeah, it was like fresh. You're supposed like, to have a lucky stuff. day, but apparently. Oh, uh, I mean, not. it just felt like another animal being like, yeah. keep away from this Yeah, guy. right. Yeah, marking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. stay. Yeah. And those shoes were like cr- crazy. This is going to sound crazy, but there was this guy, when I met him, these shoes were really smelly. And I remember thinking, never judge someone on their smelly shoes. But mm. but then in turn, as we dated, and I didn't know he had had a girlfriend before that he had like just never called back when he got with me. Mm. Like crazy shit. And he had told me like he'd been waiting for two years to have sex with someone again that he really cared about. Like really manipulative crazy shit. Yeah. And obviously bad with the booze and all and, and stealing ass punching and then i found out from other irish bartenders that he had worked there and stole from them like you know yeah. it all kind of came out really fast but my point is what about the bird poop i forget well we were connecting it to the cat shitting on the bed oh the smelly shoes yeah and i remember when i was like i don't want to judge him on his shoes and i, I suggested sometimes i was like you should get new, new boots and he was like no i don't want to because you spend all his money they don't boots. smell yeah, I never and I never said the smell, but I remember he came out to like a comedy night out, and my best friend Tori Piskin, I don't know if you know her, was there, and um, I was like, I don't know how I feel about him anymore, but I, I really, really hate these boots. And then I was like, I can smell him coming. Oh my god! And then god. she looked behind, and we could see him coming, but he was this like is, six feet away, but we could is, smell it. I mean, come on. And then when he came up to the house that day, and he was like, you know, you, I know I'm going through, but you, you know, I love you, we have real love. And then I just looked at the boots, and there was bird shit on them, and I was like, this Get is. Get some new boots. <laughs> I can't live with these boots. Look, I'm. It's more. Look, I'm breaking up with the boots, but you're in them. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> smelling cartoonishly smelling boots from a distance. <laughs> Is you're, <laughs> I mean, you're totally within your right to be like, look, this is a problem. Uh, I mean, that's crazy. Not, not even like to be like, uh, not sensitive to the idea that maybe you know there's like some some problems with this person, but you know, I mean, you can't it's also live not my with that. Yeah, that's not your thing. I mean, that's I not don't. Your yeah, problem. and that's the other thing too. When people hear like, you know, when they hear like, oh, that the person struggles with um, addiction or they're like whatever. Um, or they're going through stuff and it's like yeah I totally get that but don't think that that's my problem yeah oh you're God, not supposed I also to fix it and especially it's a very visceral boots stink <laughs> is like look I mean this is a tiny adjustment this yeah. is we're talking about new shoes uh, well um, but also I bet the bird shit probably like helped class them up a little bit you're like well, that's <laughs> actually a little bit better smelling now <laughs> Look at that. It's not great, but it's a little bit better. And you know what he did? He went on to use my Airbnb. I didn't realize he was signed in for like... Now, he didn't use my credit card. He had his mother's credit card put to it. 
Um, but like for like, I noticed like a year later, he was go- popping around New York, Airbnb with mine, which is like, I probably well, got terrible reviews. But, but what is the point of doing that? To because just he couldn't get into another apartment because he oh, owed na- so much rent oh, to gotcha, the other guy. Gotcha. Right, 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 right. And then, yeah, he was just bopping around and then he must have done something. But he, I remember being at a bar and there was an Irish guy working there. And he you was, probably, you were like... <laughs> Oh, no. I know, I know, right? Oh, no, he's here. He's here. No. I was, I was doing a, a comedy show at a bar. I was just at a set, and then I sat down at the bar, and the Irish guy was like, "Oh, you talked about being a bartender. Where did you work?" And I was like, "Oh, at the," and I said the bar, and he goes, "Oh my god, yeah, this guy, oh, the bartender I knew worked there. Did you know him?" And I was like, "Oh, just brief, briefly." Well, I think of name rings yeah, well. Yeah, I smell him. Yeah. <laughs> And then he was like, yeah, he got deported. And he was like, and then he was talking about all the shady shit he did. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. God damn. But yeah, so, so keep your animal. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Keep the cat. Yeah. I don't even know how we got to that. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> I just reveal so yeah, much like, that's therapy. That's good, though. That's good. It's unfurling. That's good. Let's do this. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So I'll see, I'll, I'll see, we'll see if we know them and see if they're in both in all the countries. Okay. Well, this is. Okay, wait, I have to go back up. I also, the podcast knows this, ever since I got COVID, I can't breathe. Oh, so dear. ignore the deep breaths. Oh, dear. Um, and I got it like th- three years ago now. Okay, so uh, this is the Love Lang- or Love Island slang explained for Americans, but it says as per. Do, did you remember as per? As, as per, per. As per. As per. No. I guess as per usual. And I don't uh, know any Irish person okay. would say that. They would You're just right. say, they wouldn't say as per usual. I, no. I don't know, yeah. Um, Irish people all say this banter. Banter, yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Good banter. Good, good banter. Banter. You do Brits, I'll do Irish banter. Good banter. <laughs> banter. Good, uh, like the banter. British it's, it's so much fun. Banter. Yeah. Um, and then they say bantering as if people would know that that is... The action verb version, mm-hmm. right? Okay, they're really... This is a bit of an insult to the uh, American I mean, honestly, readers. <laughs> yeah. And then the ing means they're actively doing it. <laughs> yeah. You understand, you dumbass? <laughs> Um, bell end. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the, the the head of the cock. Yes, yes. we use that too. I, yeah. That's my favorite. You I like bell end. Yeah. Um. <sighs> no, we do not use this in Ireland. Blazing squad. No. Blazing squad. An early two thousands British hop hip hop. No, sorry, pop hip hop. <laughs> Pop, hip hop, but well, right off the bat, they're making that's not a genre. <laughs> that's really hard to read. Pop, hip hop, and then it said, "Like if Bone Tugs were English teenager, who the fuck are Bone Tugs?" Bone Tugs in Harmony. Oh, um, so get old, but yeah, okay. <sighs> uh, I used to, I used to be in Blazing Squad, isn't it? That's the example here. Okay. Uh, uh, can't be arsed. Sorry, I feel like that's Irish, and they stole that in England. Um, can't well, be arsed. It's unlike the English to appropriate things, so <laughs> I doubt that highly. But thanks yeah. for the dagger. Uh, yes, that's also English. Yeah, <laughs> can't be arsed. Can't be fucked. Couldn't for the listeners like couldn't be bothered. Yeah, no, uh, I'm not gonna do it. It says chat. See banter. <laughs> well, so they're like, and scroll it, up. It, and then chatting, yes. see bantering. <laughs> I was just about to say that. It doesn't say that. Though. Okay, it should. I wish it did. <laughs> and this is, uh, and it's funny how they have like bracket and bracket, which is like, these aren't real words. Like, right. you know, this is like slant. They're anyway. being very professional. Crack on. Crack on. Yeah, crack on. They don't have somewhere. that in Ireland. Oh, yeah, crack on. You know, chat, have like a. Uh, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, here it's different. They, mm, they're wrong. They say it's to engage in rom- romantic activities, sexual or otherwise, with a person. No, crack mm. on is like keep going, carry on. Crack I guess on. in a way that's the sexual crack on. I guess so. Sort of. Cringe. We have cringe in Ireland. Yeah. I, th- I mean, I don't know. Does it mean something different or does it just mean what? Embarrassing. Yeah, right. Mortified. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, cringy. Cringe, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, does America? America has cringy. Yeah, yeah America does. uses cringe. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I just heard Brendan Sagalow say it. Yeah, in his they speak say yesterday. cringe. Yeah, <laughs> in his speak. Yeah, he said we were talking about something someone posted. Yeah, cringes. And he was like, "That's that's cringy." It wasn't mm. like a comedian. It was like some famous person. No, there's a lot of cringe. There's a lot of cringe. Yeah, there's too much. Uh, day dot. Day dot. I don't know what a time. No, a point in time as far as back as one can remember. No. They are making that up. I'd say the Love Island people made that up for the crack. Yeah. They're laughing. I don't day dot that. I don't day dot either. That's I don't never day been. Dot. Yeah. Dead. That's American. That came from. I'm dead. Yeah, that's definitely here. That's. I mean, that's all the. You know, it's also. I feel like a thousand percent kind of evolved 
from there a little bit. Like, oh, maybe from England? Uh, well, th- like, I feel like Love Island kind of was the jet. Or really? A little bit because I, at least, like, I haven't watched a lot of it, but, like, when I've watched it, I was like, you know, like, we were, we were like, up our ass about 110% for a long time. Of like, that's not a percent. <laughs> like, people be like, give 110. And then now it's a thousand or a million percent. So yeah. that one feels like it has evolved strongly. Well, I, And it bothers me, Katie. It enforces you. Yes, a thousand percent. <laughs> a, a thousand and ten percent. A thousand and ten percent is not a percentage. <laughs> Wait, I just realized I'm thinking of a different dad. Because you know the way people in America, you'll be like, they'll be like, that's so funny. I'm dead. Yeah, or it's or shocking or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah, but here it says it's like for dead fit. That's different. Like he oh, was right. dead fit. No, I I'm did sorry. not. I wouldn't. I would. I would misunderstand. I'd be like, he's a walking dead man. Yeah, I think Zombie? it should be dead fit because that's yeah. a different. Yeah. yeah. Defo. We all use defo everywhere. Yeah. That has. I don't even know where that originally came from. Yeah. Dick sand. I mean, that sounds. Dick sand. I don't know that sounds. When you fuck on the beach. That sounds weird. I've had dick sand when I had sex on the beach. When I had sex with the beach. It's a play on quicksand when you had sex with the beach. Yeah. Yep. Mm, no. Sand yeah. in your urethra. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I love about the beach is you can make sand castles or you can just make glory Dick holes. Sand it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Yeah. I mean, that's the way you'll get crabs. Yeah, <laughs> so absolutely. Sorry. I have. I, apologize. I have. <laughs> yeah, hermit crabs. I'm like, that's not a shell. <laughs> what is this from my pube? Um, <laughs> gross. Uh, so something about quicksand describing a man who is unfit for a relationship. He's a dick sand. Mm, I've not heard that. Dick sands in New That's York. pretty good though. Yeah. <sighs> you always have to breathe. DMC. Yeah. Deep meaningful conversations. Oh, well, I would not have known that. No, I would I'm so old that I think it would be run DMC. That's yeah. So deep meaningful conversation. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have any DMC. You get to a point where you're like you have DMCs with people that you're casually dating and you fall in love and then they don't want a relationship and then you meet a nice person and you have a relationship and you never have a DMC. Yeah, right. You just have to crack, you have fun. Yeah. You don't ever talk about your traumas and you realize it's a few years later and you're having a good time. I feel like all the DMCs and I literally to my boyfriend because he never, he's not deep. Mm. He's not a deep man. Sure. Things are easy. And last night I was talking about something like sci-fi and like the world and where we're going and like how they want to make babies in these, in these, um, in these tubey thingies, and that means that their head will grow because right now they're restricted because of our of our of our hips, and so they might be smarter. And like you know, it's crazy. Just neuter them later. That's what I say. That gets you a bigger head. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah! What a great call by. Well, it <laughs> seems like it. Well, I'm not sure if it worked, but we tried. <laughs> I liked it. It took me a second, <laughs> but I mean that. My point is, my boyfriend was like, yeah. And then he just went back to <laughs> Game of Thrones. Right. And I was like, can we have a deep conversation it, about the world? Was it, did he pause it for the talk and then go back? Oh, he was paused, but he was kind of just like. And then he kind of hit, like hitting play is kind of just like, all right. That's, yeah, that's he's over. like, I don't give a shit about just, it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's just watch shows they're in the and middle, have They're fun. right in the middle of this. Yeah, let's so watch these dragons, we just, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a fantastical conversation. Now, let's get back to the woman who keeps dragons as pets. Yeah. yeah. I'm really annoyed with her right now. I'm on the episode where she... This is no spoilers because I'm only on season three, but she's offering her her dragon for slaves to free the slaves. But I'm like, my cat is my baby. I wouldn't. Sorry, uh, people, army of they're like neutered people. It's a lot. I've not seen it. So oh you're god! Ahead of me. So it it's actually has been. Spoiled oh sorry, for me, I spoiled. So. Well, I'm hoping that she tells the dragon and the dragon speak to like burn the guy and fly back. She to her. talks to the dragon. She's dragon speak. Yeah. Interesting. She's like, bah, bah, bah. and the dragon's like, bah, 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 bah. and then he just goes and blows right. out fire. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Jeez, yeah he doesn't speak English. No, I would be nice if he was like, I speak he's English, like, you weirdo. Bitch, I learned your language. Look, I'm we si- speak English in I this. Talk English <laughs> in this seventh kingdom. Good lord, it's offensive. <laughs> he's a in British. this day and age, yeah. it's like the 1400s or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, dog head. Dog head. It goes a derogatory word, and then it, I didn't read the next sentence, and I was like, "Oh my god, did I just say something like I thought it was said something offensive?" For dog a head. But I it's don't know. it's a it's a derogatory term for an ugly person, which uh. is weird. You don't need to say a derogatory term for an ugly people aren't a ethnicity or a race yeah. or a gender. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, by the time this airs, <laughs> and all the ugly people come out. Hashtag How dare equal you? rights. Well, they, it's easy to like actually diffuse that situation when you're like, "You're beautiful." They're like, "Well, we can't say mad at you." Yeah, yeah. Fuck those dog heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so and then uh, early days, which we know, 
what just oh you don't know no it's like when you're dating someone in early days so you're like three months in you're oh, like yeah. i don't want to i don't know if i want to ask are we in a relationship it's still early days i okay. don't know if it's I a psycho it's early days yeah, yeah well that one's applicable to you in some ways yeah it was me i That's give them all six months early days for five years i give them all six months and they've like murdered someone at that time and i'm like I guess these million red flags are. I think red we're flags. in the regular days. <laughs> <laughs> we're in regular days. <laughs> yeah. Fit, good looking. Yeah. Friend Island. Friend, what? That's where they friend zone you. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Giza. Giza. Yeah, just good bloke. Yeah. Uh, get the hump. Obvious. Yeah. Oh, wait. Not obvious. I thought it was something else. What is it to you? Well, I would assume it would be the bang, the Me shag. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I thought it was the ride. No, it's to be annoyed. Oh, wow. Hump. I know. I feel like the Irish listeners are probably, we probably say that in Ireland and I just Get forgot. The hump. Yeah. Weird. Um, graft. Oh, that one I know, but I don't know. It's like a thing know. for cancer. <laughs> oh, God. What? <laughs> no, I'm just, that's what I would have thought graft. Uh, I, uh, what is it? A more aggressive act of flirting. Oh, no. I thought okay. graft was like hard work. Yeah, I thought it, yeah. I would assume it was something a little more in line with that, but that's interesting. Then there's gutted. Well, yeah, like, yeah, absolutely, uh, yeah, very saddened. Very sad, yeah, yeah, yeah. De- yeah, yeah, I'm always gutted. Yeah. And then melt. Just like super attracted to someone? This is different than the way they say in Ireland. Because in Ireland, it would be like melted, like, oh, they melted my head, like they wrecked my head, like uh-huh. I can't listen yeah. to them anymore. This is uh, someone who was a uh, softy. Oh. Um, so, softy being sweetheart. I think so, yeah. Right, it's not like a penile correction. Oh, no. Right. But if you are softy, if you're a melt, that's okay. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, There's times just when it's put in some air con, you're probably a little hot. Yeah, no, it's a lot of times when men can't <laughs> get their dicks hard, it's because the AC is not on. And then there, uh, you know, I, uh, my experience as a whore, um, <laughs> how dare that guy say I'm innocent, my experience with All right, <laughs> asshole. This podcast is now directed at the one-star reviewer. Steven. Uh, Steven, uh, we think you're listening. I actually try because it has his full name, so I tried to see if he was on Instagram to see if he was following me, but then I was like this is sad <laughs> it can get sad and i would never do it but it was because it was specifically a, ru- a review when i'm finally investing money in this and i'm finally paying for this i'm like this can't well people i think maybe don't understand that the like then i mean the, it's like anything else it's like if you're like waiting like if you're gonna get on an airplane and you're an asshole yeah you're probably gonna get like more stuff you're probably gonna board when you want or whatever yeah. the negative reviews and comments are like that i had so when the pandemic was, you know, when we were all staying home for the most part, I was in my house and I was like kind of just doing like weekly uh, like improvised stand up shows. And they were super weird and all that stuff. But it was like some semblance of performing, which I guess I, you know, whatever. And um, and I would post them. And uh, this guy and I really do try not to like on Instagram, I'll see probably more comments than anywhere else. And on Instagram, this guy just goes, um you know, hey man, this one just wasn't that funny. Seemed a little off or something like, like it was just like really like negative and I was just kind of like, man, fuck that. And my guy like edits my my clips and stuff. We were kind of like going back and forth and I was like, I mean, this guy doesn't know how much he fucking got to me and all this stuff, right? And that was whatever, that was three years ago. So then I taped my special in Portland in September and um, after the show, like I'm selling some merch and this guy comes up and he's just like, hey man, you probably don't remember this, but... When you used to do those Gariff's things, like one day I left like a really shitty comment. He was like, I basically was like, you were off. There was something wrong with this one. And in my head, I'm like, I do remember that. <laughs> like but I'm pretending, him. yeah, I was like, I'm pretending not to. And I'm what? also like, you know, like I was fixated on it in a weird like little way. You know what I mean? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I do know this guy. Yeah. And he was like, I just was like, I think I was drunk when I left the comment. And, you know, it was just kind of shitty. And I was like, oh, I, I don't remember. But that's cool that you feel like that you've purged yourself of some guilt. That's cool. But in my head, I was going like, wow, like that one did throw me into a bit of a tailspin for a minute. And then this guy was like actually like he regretted it which yeah. is so he I, like fully retracted it in person which is closure you'll never get but it also is insight into the idea of sometimes it's just like you know they just people throw daggers just because it's like yeah it gets to you you see it. if you see it you remember it yeah no, you know no, no absolutely and i mean there's been people when i've had more time and when i was more affected by it yeah especially during the pandemic when yeah we all the time i Hyper, would respond and yeah. be like 
I mean, this is unnecessary. And then, like every time they'd be like, I'm so sorry, I'm having a bad day. I took it out on you. I, I love all your other comedy. Or, yeah. or one guy called me. Then ugly. it's even weirder. Yeah, yeah. One guy called me ugly. And I was like, hey, that's totally fine if you don't think I'm attractive. But this is TikTok and there are going to be younger women who will be affected by that. So just keep oh, your negative Katie, comments to yourself. That is such a good way to say I it. Know. Fuck you. I, That's was really, like, I was you're lucky that you're dealing with someone <laughs> you're lucky you're dealing with someone who's a grown up but you might not do that sometimes sir He's like, yeah. oh, oh yeah God. I will ma- I'm sorry Irish Catholic guilt and yeah. I was raised in a family that if killed each other with words I oh, will get you that is like a great one and then he responded back no oh, I'm so sorry I don't even think you're ugly I just wanted to be mean to someone on the internet to make myself feel yeah. better and you're like okay cool just be careful All right, because- ugly piece of shit. but it is true you could write this on some 13 year old girl because sorry TikTok they look yeah. 20 yeah. and she'll fucking be like that will affect her yeah you don't time. know like if I mean truly like it it your mood I mean you get more and more used to it the longer that you do it but you know it's like you, you got to remember that, yeah, everyone has feelings and it's not yeah. just because it's anonymous doesn't mean it should be, you know, vitriol. Absolutely. And I think the more for us, it's like the more content, because I think we were doing stand up way before content. So content was new and it was like, Ugh. and then now that we've been doing content so much, it's kind of like, whatever, I don't care. Yes. Great. Right. I'm not funny. Right. Yeah. You think I'm a cunt and it's going to help. No, you're basic. I mean, it's almost, you yeah, I mean, numb. It's, it's approval rating. It's like, it'll never be a hundred. Yeah. Ever. Oh yeah. yeah. And you, you want. 80 is pretty good. Yeah. With comedy, you don't want everybody to, it, you shouldn't, not everybody. Sh- I mean, I'd love if everybody I mean, I was me. just about to <laughs> say <laughs> like, <laughs> this is what I tell myself to go to sleep <laughs> at night. <laughs> it's okay. That yeah. he hates me. Um, I wanted to ask you before we went to. Uh, my favorite British show, well, because in Ireland, we would have grown up watching a lot of the British TV because they show mm. way crazier stuff than, now, obviously not the BBC, but like Channel 4. Oh, yeah, it was nuts. Crazy. Remember Embarrassing Bodies? Uh, I don't know if I've seen that one. That but was like people coming in with like a wonky penis or, and then the whole thing was to like make you not feel embarrassed about your yeah. wonky penis or find out that you have maybe an STD, and I, which is great, but I was like fucking 12 well, year old. I was like, It's upsetting when you don't and they're like, no, your penis is just wonky. <laughs> Sorry, there's no reason other than it's just a disaster penis. Yeah, yeah. Turn the AC on. Yeah. <laughs> See if that works. That yeah, can you're help. not a melt. <laughs> See? Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, but Naked Attraction, have you seen that? That show is crazy. Oh that show is like... That is the best. It's amazing. It is. It's it, it it's also... A, the people who go on it are amazing. If people don't know what it is, it's like, you know, the show where... Basically, you're judging based on like genitals first mm-hmm. and then kind of working backwards from that. It's and so like the, like for the dudes, the first thing that reveal is revealed is the dick. And then for women, is it's is it the breast first? Um, for women, it, well, it starts and it goes up. So it's, yeah, the, so vagina. it's the vagina. So it's yeah. like super strange. It's totally it's very, back. It's very, backwards to how every I like know. relationship or situation would normally be. And it's really interesting. It's like, and then they meet at the end and it's like, do they click? But it's going, it's going from the base sexualization level back to the personality, which is just kind of counter to the way any of this actually works and functions. Also the way the world has really strived to, you know, yeah, like right. progressiveness. Yeah, and right, this is right. like, no, let's take it back to the foot, to the knee, to yeah. the vagina, to the penis, yeah. to the tits. And it was funny because it's always my observation, and like for the listeners, it's real penises and vaginas. It's oh, not yeah. like an American show where they blur it. You're no. seeing. No, I you're. Yeah. I was in my fucking living room in Ireland. No, on the I, TV, rem- I remember. 7 p.m. I can't remember. I feel Five like vaginas. I saw it in a hotel the first time and was like, what's happening? Did I just by accident sign up for porn? <laughs> I forgot about the English TV system where they're like, let's do this. Yeah, fine. And then I, when I started watching it and I, I wrote a bit about it, I posted a bit about it and the bit did so well and then I checked their Instagram page and they had 2,000 followers and I was like, am I, like, I'm giving this show so much wow. promotion right now because they don't, but that also shows that people who go on to it, they're not like, nor, it's not like Love Island. Yeah. It's not like 90 Day Fiancés. They're not going on Well, it's on also it. hard for them to post clips from their show. I guess so. <laughs> but, but that's so true. Yeah, I mean, they'd have to blur that one. But I yeah. mean, that means that people really go on to find naked love. Yeah. Because everything else, if people are going on for, you're like, okay, fine, I'll go on Love is Blind, but I really, I'm going to leave him at the altar and maybe be with him for three months. Yeah. But I'm doing this to get five years worth of being able to sell shit on my Instagram. Yeah. They don't, they don't even give their names. They really are looking for it. Oh. And then every time when it reveals the naked body and they pick the person based on the naked body, the face is always better. They always seem to be like, oh, you know what? Jeez, I'm after getting rid of her. And she, her face is amazing. Yeah, and it fa- really shows yeah. how the face is more important than the body a lot of the time. Yeah, it's true too. I, I, I mean, like again, like with like, I mean, with dicks, it's like, 
you know, you can't. I mean, there, <laughs> there's a punched up version of the penis that you might not be seeing on the show, you know. Yeah. But it also is interesting to watch people aesthetically evaluate a dick. Yeah. Like, because it is like, you know, I mean. And the, vi- and the vagina is like yeah, the whole pube like, thing. That yeah. Most of them don't have pubes or if they yeah. do, it's very styled. Yeah. Because that's, I'm sure it's like, it'd be the same way if you're going on a dating show and you're, uh, you're, you know, they're going to see your face, you'd get your makeup and hair yeah. done. So yeah. they've gone, so, yeah, the, they've the little done. bits all. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, it real. I mean, that's like, that's one of the things I think about like English television that even when I was a kid, like there was, there were two versions of a shower gel commercial once. And one was like, you know, like a shower gel commercial. It was the w- same woman. And then they'd show one after like 9 or 9.30 where you'd see her tits. And it was just like, shower gel? Yeah. That's insane. It was nuts. That's and, madness. And it was like, I remember seeing it and being like, what? And then I also remember like, you know, uh, you'd go into like a news, uh, you know, like a drugstore, like a news agent's. And, um, you know, I'm like, you'd see like tits on the paper. And I remember being a kid oh, yeah, just being English like, English paper, love yeah, the page tree tits. Uh, yeah, and I would just be like, there's tits. Um, we have to wrap this up, but I do remember reading an article about a page tree t- titty girl. Yeah. And then it's so funny how it's like news, gossip, tit. Yeah. And it's like page tree, so it's pretty quickly. Yeah. But she said they would put pots on her on her tits before, so her nipples would be hard, oh, like cold pots. That's such an English, it's like, get a fucking ice cube, but in England, they're just like, oh, fancy a crock pot. Imagine the guy who has to bring the pots to oh, the yeah. shoot. He's like, Don't worry, they've been washed since the last set. Yeah. <laughs> During the pandemic, they were clapping the titty pots. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, nurses. Thank you. <laughs> also, they pop those on there. Lovely. Yeah, a smashing. Okay, so where can people find you? Uh, I'm at, uh, at Reynolds Gareth, as established. You uh, are not going to be able to you'll be in touch with the Welshman if you do the other one and then my special is called England Weed and the Rest uh, where the subject of England is covered Um, and you can find that on my website which is garethreynolds.com and there's a a special link to go find it on YouTube and uh, and go to my website garethreynolds.com for stand updates and doll updates and all that shit and you can go see Jose yeah, he is it, Jose, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually has his own Instagram. Okay. Uh, Jose from the Dollop. Oh, amazing. Yeah. How many followers does he have? I, th- I, I think he's like at 23,000 or something like that. Oh, my God, he's killing it. Yeah, he's done pretty well for himself. I should do a Madra Instagram, but like, yeah. ugh, I can't, I don't. My friend runs it because it's yeah. like, I, I, also, no. I was like, my Instagram was becoming way too cat heavy. Oh. And I was like, I that's can't. why I thought he died. That's why I asked. Yeah, I know. Because I went through today because I was like, I like to, before the guest comes on, go through their Instagram, see what jokes, see if there's yeah. anything we can talk about. And then um, I was like, oh my God, I, like, I had cat, already planned so much about. cat heavy yeah. material. He was like, <laughs> fuck, this cat is dead. <laughs> no, no, he's thriving on his own Instagram. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. A pleasure. As and always. For the listeners or viewers, I always feel weird when I look over here now. Um, the, um, uh, he, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, please sign up to the Patreon give me money so that I can keep doing this and um, that'd be great and there'll be bonus episodes Pog apps will always be there a week early and uh, rate review get rid of Steven's review please that'd yeah. be great yeah, knock you, him to the bottom don't come with any sarcastic one star reviews either give us five stars thanks. thank you um, and I love you all and rate review give it to your friends and tell and help thank you and woo I don't know what else to say. I never know how to end these things. Just uh. now you're holding it up. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, oh, Pat. I knew I was forgetting some. Follow Pat. His st- and All the stuff will be in the description, but make sure to follow Pat. And if you are a comedian, use his podcast studio or get him to do your clips. Okay. Bye, Pat. Bye. Bye, Pat. <laughs> <laughs>